So you want to know about the mark of the beast? Well, I got some things to share with you today. You know, do we have marks of the beast right now? Marks, that's right. Not just one mark. We got many marks in this time of grace. But you want to know whether or not, do you have to worship the Antichrist? Do you have to worship bow down to him like the three Hebrew boys didn't do? Do you have to? Or can you just take his mark and... And uh, that'll be it. You won't have uh, no repercussion. We're saying that. We're pretending we're in the Antichrist reign. So let's look at it. All right, well, let's go to Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mix mixture uh, into the cup of indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. That sounds pretty bad, don't it? And it goes on to say that, uh, and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast in his image, and whoever receiveth the mark of his name. Well, uh, if you just take the mark, that's synonymous to worshiping the beast, the Antichrist. Now, a lot of people are confused. It is confusing out there if you don't read your Bible, and uh, you're, you're looking for the one Antichrist to come, but you're missing the hundreds of Antichrists that are already here, and they're all, they all got their special marks, their special laws to get you to submit, and it's up to us Christians to say the most beautiful word, what, what we say to these Antichrists, no way in hell, you go to your place, but no way in hell, we're not going to do it for you and my our brethren that's going to come in during the time of tribulation. They're not going to take the mark either. Glory to God, you just can't make us do it. Not even though we're under grace. There's no way God's going to send us to hell. We're bought and saved by the blood of Jesus. Now, he could discipline us. He could discipline us by... Uh, taking marks that we shouldn't take. and uh, But there's forgiveness, there's cleansing, there's washing, there's renewal. And uh, just a small amount of people, I believe, that are true born-again Christians that may have a problem taking marks, like the China mark. China mark come from the beast. Is China, are they a good Christian nation or... They allow their Christians to read their Bibles, go to school, or do they tear down their churches, which they do. And they, they put them in concentration camps, which they do. They're allowed to do it by our governments. And uh, our government want to be just like them. They want to put all Christians away. They're troublemakers. They don't do what we say. Right now we got... We got a leader that's in bed. It's in bed. It's known. He's in bed, and uh, he's in bed with Rome, and he's in bed with China. And I think Rome is wishing. I, I really do. I think the, you know, they're wishing that he is the Antichrist. He does have a mortal head wound. He can't make a coherent sentence most of the time, and uh, and he's getting worse. So. Yeah, they're probably hoping. This is the mortal headwind of the Antichrist. He is the one that's going to lead us into a new society without God. But, you know, like most religious orders, they're fools. They're fools. They don't read their Bible. 
Oh, they should start getting into their Bible. They know the Antichrist comes up out of the sea, and it comes up when hell is opened up. Where is the Antichrist right now, Larry? He's in hell. That's where he's at. He's in the, the pit of hell, living there, waiting, being supernaturally, uh, supernaturally maintained, so to speak, until he's released from the pit. And that's going to happen. You'll see a big old meteor eye coming, smashing into the earth. And then you're going to see locust creatures and all that. In, in the book of Revelation, you can read about it. But let's get back to China. Mark. Yeah. Now, I'm on a solo mission. A mission that I'm doing. I don't really care if anybody else does because we're in a race, you know. If you want to drink your... Yeah, I'll take a little side break, take it easy. I'm going for the finish line. And uh, one of those things, I'm not going to be buying anything from China, those poor children over there, those persecuted saints. <laughs> you probably don't know this, and it's not funny. There are saints over there There's having their organs harvested. I know it sounds bad, it's, you, you know, but some reputable news agency have written about it and they're not changing anytime soon and your christian brothers you could be playing with your funko you could be playing with your funko made in china while your brothers and sisters and these are being persecuted to the point where their organs are being harvested and sold to the affluent they keep the evildoers alive no yeah oh yeah I'm not going to be doing it anymore. In fact, I bought a, a lamp the other day, and they look like a reputable company. I don't care if it's from England or Dutch or anything, but I looked at it in tiny little print, made in China. People made good remarks. They're going, well, everything's made in China anymore, Larry. So what are you going to do, buy nothing? If that's so be it, so be it. I've, I've made up my mind. I'm not buying anything. In fact, it makes me want to puke when I see anything made in China. They've caused so much harm by releasing the, you know, those things in the pandemic and the poor people suffering, the little children of the world suffering, and, and uh, the Christians and other religious groups over there, and the, and the forced prostitution that's over there. Did you know China... China has a law against prostitution, but then they let it flourish. Do you believe that? They're sickos. The Chinese, those people in control over there, they're sickos. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to sell my country down by buying their stupid products. We need a leader that's going to do away with a lot of that Chinese crap that we get. And they're crap because they're made from forced labor. They're made, they, they don't care about the environment. They, <laughs> and uh, their government, their government are out there killers. Yeah, I'm not too high. I don't esteem any, any business partners with China. To me, they're traitors of the USA. They're not patriots. They deserve to go to jail, every one of them. You know, have you used the prostitutes lately to make that business deal over there? You know, they use them, don't you? I just saw something that was kind of weird. We were in 2015. We were giving money to the Chinese to something about water. Not to drink so much water, the prostitutes. Yeah, I looked that one up sometime. That sounds weird. We're just giving our money. Oh, yeah, you give our tax money. We're giving to the Chinese. You want to know who's in charge of everything in America? It's the Chinese. And it's time to put a stop to it. For me. For me. I'm on a solo mission. I don't care what you do. You know, that you can just go back in your pretense that everything's going to be all right. Everything. No, <laughs> I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight until I die and go to glory land. But I'm going to try to do it in a way that's not hypocritical. You know, tell others 
Hey, you ought to do this. You ought to do that and not do it myself. Well, that's all for today. See you later. Bye. Thank you.